Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. So a few months ago I put out a review of a certain product and at the time that I gave that review I gave it a very very good one, a glowing review in fact. At the time of making that video I believed everything, everything that I said I believed and it was true at the time. Everything that I said was true at that time. I said it was a good product. It's not. As you've probably read from the title, it's the um, the KNF concept tripod. It's a pile of hot garbage. Now I couldn't find any of the stored footage that I had of the video uh, on my hard drive because I'm currently backing it all up and there's about six or seven hundred gigs worth of files to um, transfer from Google Drive to my new hard drive and I believe it might have got deleted in the process and I don't I, I don't know at the moment I can't find the file so I'll keep looking anyway um, so yeah in a nutshell in case you haven't seen the other video I reviewed the KNF concept tripod and it was good and it was it really was it was cheap enough uh, it did what it said it was supposed to do but a few weeks after I made that video it kind of stopped being true and I've been very hesitant over the last few months to even make this video because I wanted that video to remain true but it's not it's a crap product i mean for a start let's work our way down with this tripod so for a start we've got the head right this is a simple thing to get right very simple thing when it wants to unscrew that's not one of the problems that's just me moaning because i like to moan this is taking a very long time there we go. So this is the ball head. Now I liked this ball head because, well, it's a very good one. No, it's not. My main problem with this ball head is the fact of that screw. Right there. Can you see that one? That silver screw right there? It never tightens. I've used an Allen key, which is designed for that, as you can see, it needs an Allen key. And it still comes loose. Look. So when I'm trying to take a long exposure, the wind can knock the, the tripod and I would have mucked up my long exposure. So that's a piece of crap. I have to keep tightening it all the time. But, okay, fair enough. You can buy brand new ball heads quite easily on Amazon. Third party, Manfrotto, whatever. Even from KNF, you can buy this exact one. So maybe this is just a defective unit that I could send back to KNF and get a new one. Well, I didn't do that to be fair. Maybe I should have done. That's for you to decide whether I should have done or not. Okay, well, let's say that, let's say that you know, I did get a new one. So this problem is fixed without me dropping it. Then we come on to the tripod itself. Now, this comes with a monopod, not a very good monopod, but a monopod nonetheless. So the problem I have with this monopod is the fact that if you go to somewhere like Argos here in the UK, or even pick it up on Amazon, you can get a Manfrotto one. For about 20 pounds and you might be saying well yeah but it's easier to carry if you're already carrying your tripod and you've got a monopod with you and yeah you'd be right and another benefit of this particular monopod from the tripod is the the screw head here it has the bigger screw mount which means that you can easily attach a ball head to it so you can get different kinds of shots if you want or video shots, whatever. And you don't, you don't get that. You get the normal standard screw head on, um, on the Manfrotto one here. But that's okay for one reason, and that's height. So this one stands about five, maybe six foot tall. It's very 
very long. It's not really the sturdiest, especially this leg right here. This is the bottom leg and it's quite thin. So I wouldn't really advise putting it on anything, you know, relying on this kind of thing for anything particularly heavy because it's probably not going to support more than the 700D, maybe even the 5D at push, but I wouldn't put a 1DX on there and, you know, kind of rely on it. But this one, so you saw how tall that one was, but that's it. I mean, that's it. We're getting about three feet. That's it. That's all we're going to get. We're not going to get any more. I'm five foot nine. And your camera is meant to be at eye level on a monopod. I need to make it taller. There is literally no point for me to use this monopod. Like, at all. I've tried and it didn't work. The only scenario that I found that this even remotely works is if you attach the ball head to it and have your camera upside down and have it video recording. Because other than that, it's just useless. It's too small, it's nice and lightweight, and it comes with the, the tripod itself, but it's just bad. And you know, I could live with them. I did live with them for a very, very long time because I didn't want, I was kind of denying myself that these problems were problems because I didn't want it to be true because I was so happy with it that, I didn't want it to be true, but, and then this happened. I went out and I wanted a low down shot. So I thought, you know what? I'll take this pole out here, this main, you know, pole. And I will turn it around and put it down here so that I could get a low down shot. And that's exactly what I did, but it got stuck and then broke. I now can't move this. I could undo the, the locking bolt, but the plastic in here has jammed. This pole won't move. I can only extend this pole by loosening this one and pulling it up here, or by doing the legs, which is perfectly fine, but when you've got a tripod that you want to kind of, ooh, you know, compact up, and make it as small as possi <clears throat> possible. And make it as small as possible. You don't really want that pole just stuck there. And it's, it's just gonna go in the bin now, to be fair. Like, I give up with it. It's just bad. So, I can't decide whether or not I should take down the video because at the time of the review it was true but I don't really like the review I just don't anyway guys thanks for listening to me rant for god knows how long I'll see you in the next